In a recent podcast called Dead Tech Show, George Coxon from Nano was talking about Nano that we all love so much. For those who do not know much about Nano, it is worth checking it out. See it in the link below. However, if you are time constrained, then let me talk about some of the highlights here and I'll pay a small part of the clip. So, the biggest point that I took from it was the desire to become fully decentralized and close the Nano Foundation. Nano is almost ready for a commercial grade, meaning there is no more work to be done. The product is finished. She said they expect this to happen at the beginning of next year. Now, this is huge because this would put Nano as one of the most decentralized projects with unlimited scalability, limited supply and no mining. The biggest argument Bitcoin maxes use is that Bitcoin is the most decentralized project. But Nano will destroy this argument by the beginning of next year. So let's listen to a clip quickly. Big step towards decentralization of, of what we deem Nano and the Nano network to mm. be. Um, and so we did this in our titles about three weeks ago and decided that director was more akin to a foundational role such as we have at Nano Foundation. I think I've been kicked by every mentor that I've ever had um, for doing such a thing. But actually, it really speaks to the building blocks behind Nano and the direction that we're looking to bring Nano to when Nano really is commercial grade. And that's really the time when we feel there is no any, you know, Vulnerabilities is the wrong word, but there's no final huge, you know, tweaks that we want to make to the code to make it more efficient. And we're looking at that kind of early next year. We will shut down the foundation because Nano must be a truly decentralized currency um, to be deemed a global currency. And we cannot, as Nano Foundation, put ourselves first before that. So we will offload and offshoot Nano as a full global currency of the world and shut down the foundation behind it. With any kind of ongoing maintenance, we're looking at the Linux you know, foundation model moving forward. Um, and Colin and I will always, always be involved. And whatever we do, Nano will always be at the, the core of our heart. Wow. And so we'll continue working on that in our spare time. There's a, there's a limit to... Um, you know, there's, there's, we don't have that many changes to make really to, to really deem Nano as truly commercial and ready for the big bad world. We probably, we've got V23 coming up and we're hoping to have that kind of completed. We all know how software works, so I'm not going to give any dates, <laughs> but in a very, very near... You'll be ready when it's ready. Yeah, exactly. Well, the, the reason why I asked you originally about the question about the, the director is that the... Uh, there's a couple of branches off this, right? So the <laughs> the um, the fact that you you started this decentralization and commercial grade, fearless and spam proof, it will place Nano in one of the most superior brackets in the crypto world. The speed and scalability is hardware driven, so this will always grow. We know that Nano is already super fast and can handle a beast load of transaction. Ah. It's user friendly. If you haven't tried it, then try it out. George reiterated that they are working behind the scenes with some big companies to boost real world adoption. Now, George sounded quite confident that Nano will be adopted further in the future. A global currency, however, is more of an ideal and a pipe dream, but who knows? What was also interesting was that Nano will grow according to its market cap. Now, let me explain. This means if Nano goes up 100 billion in market cap, they will change the numeric value, not the total value. So you don't have to work with 0.0003 Nano for a cup of coffee. This is much better and this makes Nano's supply infinite but without inflation. Similar to Ampleforth but done through voting. This is because they have room for 32 zeros behind the comma. So you can move them, those zeros if necessary. In the podcast, it was also stated that Nano has a good legal side and that they are ready for regulations that are coming. And this is why Nano is one of the, my bigger holdings, because these regulations will come soon. So, now that's it. If you enjoyed this small, quick episode, then please be sure to smash that subscribe button and to stay on top of the crypto news and especially Nano.